It was not too long ago that I got to ride the new TVS Apache RTR 164V at the company's facility in Hosur. And I was quite impressed by what the bike had to offer on the track. But now I've had the opportunity to ride it out in the urban jungle. And I have quite a few findings. But before we proceed with this video, I would highly recommend that you go and check out our first ride review before watching this. You can go to the video by clicking in the link in the description below or if you can click on the i button up top then you can go and watch that video. Now let's proceed with the things that I liked about this bike. The first thing obviously are the looks. Now the Apache 160 looks much more raw, much more muscular. And I really like this design scheme. While it is not new for TVS, TVS has already put something like this on the 204 Vs. But I welcome the shift of design from the elder sibling to the younger one. And it definitely grabs a lot of attention. I especially love the headlamp up front. The second thing I like about this bike is how youthful the engine feels. Now, if you've seen our first ride review, you would know that I enjoyed the carbureted engine more than the fuel injected one. It just felt more lively, even if by just that much. And in the city also, this is quite fun to ride. It is just raring to go. It's actually a bit hard to keep it in control because the moment you let go of the throttle, even just a tiny bit, it just wants to go and fly. Cruising at speed of 100 kilometers an hour is also quite easy given that you find such a road. But even in city rides, this is quite a functional engine. The third functional facility on this bike is its meter console. Let me show that to you. As you can see, this is a completely digital unit, again borrowed from the 200. And it gets a bunch of helpful information. So you get to see your speed, you get to see how much fuel you have left, it shows you the time, it has an RPM gauge, you have an odometer, and you also get two trip meters. And then you can record your top speed, you can record your best 0 to 60 time on this and you have a lot of helpful indicators right here as well. It also has a handy shift indicator in here. Now, if you go for the fuel injected version of the bike, you will also get a gear position indicator which is very very helpful in my opinion and you also get a white display in place of the more yellowish one found on the carbureted version and both the displays are quite legible and quite helpful i really really liked the turn indicator and the horn and let me tell you why the turn indicator switch can be flicked quite easily and effortlessly while this might not be a big thing you do appreciate that in everyday traffic and then you have the nice horn now while i do not endorse honking unnecessarily this horn can be helpful in places where people just won't budge and it will make your presence felt don't believe me have a listen yourself moving along the list we have the nice and grippy 17 inch tubeless tires so the front is a 90 by 90 while the rear is a 130 by 70 these tires provided a very good grip on the track and it is a hassle free ride through the city you get plenty of grip and today it was raining in the morning and i had absolutely no issue riding through the slippery wet tarmac now referencing my first ride video once again, I was a little worried about the suspension setup as it is a bit stiff and I was worried if it would fare well in the city. Thankfully, it does manage to gobble the smaller potholes, cracks in the roads and speed breakers quite nicely. Much better than some of the competition and I was delightfully surprised with that fact you get a telescopic fork up front and a monoshock the suspension setup is stiff enough to provide a sporty ride but it also does manage to gobble a lot of the potholes and another thing i like about this bike is the shotgun exhaust this also has been borrowed from the 200 and it sounds pretty nice especially in the lower range so let me just start the bike and show that to you
Last but in no way the least is the price at which the Apache is being offered. Now you pay about 85,000 rupees ex showroom Delhi and that is for the carbureted with disc brake variant. The EFI obviously costs a little more about four to five thousand rupees more than this and there is also a drum brake variant which costs 80,000 roughly ex showroom once again. Now this is a really really tempting price for the package that TVS is offering and puts the competition in quite a tight spot. And those are all the things that I like about the new Apache 164V. Now before you go out and say that I only listed the good points, there is a separate video about the things I did not like about this bike. So you can go ahead and check that video out by clicking once again the i button up top or following the link in the description. I'll see you there. If you have anything to ask from me, from the team, then you can always comment, follow our channel and also like this video. Until the next time, bye bye.